so nice to have a camera that has autofocus. So I gotta admit, I am guilty. I fixed the red bike a whole bunch, made a bunch of changes over the winter, and I haven't even ridden it at all. I, I, I fixed it, I put it all back together, I didn't even clean it, and it's just sat there. So today I'm gonna change that. But first, coffee. So there's this trail system called Blue Hills that I'd really like to go check out today. Except this bike has flat tires and it needs a little bit of work before we can go. So I guess I should talk about what changes I made. Brakes, whoo, they make a huge, huge difference. Although the brakes, they kind of squeal like hell. So, so maybe we should uh, stop and fix that real quick. So one of the major reasons that I switched this guy over to V-brakes is because the lever pull ratio for this bike was really not optimized for cantilever brakes, which is what I stuck on this originally. Now, when I got this bike, it was just a frame, and I decided to just put whatever parts I could find on it, thinking that that was fine. And the bike originally came equipped with Claris shifters, which have a 38 millimeter cable pull, so from beginning to end of the pull is 38 millimeters and these 105 shifters right here that I decided to put on this have a much shorter pull for the lever so when you pull the lever all the way it only pulls 24 millimeters of cable it doesn't sound like a whole lot but when you're talking about using cantilever brakes that really need to have a lot of cable pull in order to properly brake these this setup just didn't cut it in fact it was like really sketchy taking this for a ride because you'd squeeze the brakes all the way down and this thing just wouldn't stop. So switching to V-brakes has made all the difference in the world. This bike is like a, god damn these bugs. This bike is like a brand new bike. It's, it's crazy how big of a difference just choosing the right brake for the type of shifters that you have, how big of a difference that really makes. The other big switch I made was switching to tubeless. I had one too many flats. I don't know why I didn't do tubeless right off the bat, but not going back. <laughs> so also something really interesting that I learned that I don't know if a lot of people know about, but Crank Brothers. Oh. So Crank Brothers actually makes a three bolt to two bolt adapter for road shoes. And if you're cheap like me and you only have road shoes, it means that you can run Crank Brothers on your bike without too much hassle. Although, don't expect your road shoes to last a super long time. These ones are very beaten up.
I didn't bring enough water on that one. Holy crap. I couldn't believe how many people were not wearing masks while out on the trail or even kids just, just walking around like middle of a pandemic. Come on, put your mask on. <laughs>